Native American wise man once said that man's heart away from nature becomes hard. That lack of respect for growing, living things soon led to a lack of respect for humans too. We have an arrogant view on nature, recklessly consuming and destroying everything around us. Occasionally I come up here to get away from the noise, to evade for a while from the rat race of modern society and from the time-consuming technology. Up here, I feel like a man, independent and strong, free and alive. Down there, I feel like part of a flock, treated like a child carried by hand, suffocated by too many regulations. Up here I'm enjoying my freedom, witnessing the wonders of nature through all of my senses. Down there we are surrounded by screens, mindlessly scrolling through social media feeds of a fabricated reality. We use so many social media platforms, but we seldom socialize for real. We have endless possibilities of communication, but our inner self feels lonelier and lonelier. We are surrounded by technology that should facilitate our lives, giving us freedom and spare time but it ends up consuming most of our time. We never really have time for the most important aspects of our lives. We have fast cars, but we are always caught in never-ending pursuits of meaningless goals. We have fast food, but bad health. We have big institutions for our education, but little knowledge on essential stuff. We have lots of intelligence and an abundance of scientific studies, but little or no wisdom.
We have political institutions and legislators elected to protect democracy and our freedoms, but instead we have laws upon laws regarding every small aspect of our lives, cutting up our liberties bit by bit for security and health reasons. We forget how to live in a safety-obsessed urbanity. Down there, we forget to be human. The outdoors is calling us. We yearn for a simple life surrounded by nature. Beneath the hustle and bustle of everyday life, a need is growing. What do we do about it? Are we strong enough to step down from this high-speed train? Can we downshift our way of life? turning away from the deluge of modern society. Some of us already started this journey. We wouldn't be alone in this adventure. It would be hard in the beginning, but definitely for the better. Better for the body, better for the mind, better for the soul. So should we do something about it or keep on dreaming?